on, everybody? DJ Catcher Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's time some deals, baby. Today, we've got 50 mods on the testing list. Giants have some clarifications on their vineyard contest. Plus, we got seven mods to talk about, including a new combine harvester. Let's check it out. Starting off today with the mod testing list, which is up to 50 mods from 48 yesterday. So only two extra ones. We've still got the Case IH Axle Flow and Testing, but the Optum is back on the list. We also have the Dondi Discovitis, which is going to need a dentist approval for getting into the game. It's a bad joke, but I stand by. It's pretty funny. We've also got great processing, ground stains, whatever those are, plenty of John Deere tractors and logging equipment. And of course, the lightsabers. They're still in testing. I would not expect to see those for another month or so, probably around May the 4th, but just taking a guess there. Making our way down to the bottom half of the list, there's not a ton that stands out here, but we do have the maple syrup production, maple farm, and even an old 1986 pickup truck. Looking forward to that. As for console testing, there's nothing really all there, but we did get a lot yesterday. Speaking of, we still got 699 mods city waiting to be tested, only up nine from yesterday, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is still at 16 work days. If you guys would like to see the full mod testing list, check out the link in the description beside mod testing list. Giants have clarified a few things for the vineyard photo contest going on right now with some straightforward rules laid out to make things a little bit easier if you'd like to enter. It has to be a vineyard, orchard, growing grapes or olives. You've got screenshots to depict your entire farm, including farmhouses, fields, machines, animals, and the general scenery or landscape surrounding it whatever makes it more beautiful. Remember to keep the images and descriptions family friendly. Example, there's nothing more delicious than grape juice produced from grapes. Suitable for all ages, of course. Machines, brands, mods, things like that are not allowed. You may use generic assets from your farm, like farmhouses, decorations, things like that, unless they are branded, kind of like the Horman stuff, or mods like the player action camera or similar tools like that. Of course, you can get those way up in the air so you can show off everything. The screenshots must be based on Farming Simulator 22, not Farm Sim 19. Chances of winning do not increase by purchasing additional content either. You can use base game stuff and do just fine. And of course, only one entry per participant. Speaking of, to participate, send giants between one and three screenshots of your vineyard and tell them in under 1,000 characters why your vineyard is the most beautiful and why it's the perfect place to visit. Pretend like it's a holiday resort or something like that, like you're going on vacation. Let them know in that type of way. There is a form that you do need to fill out on their website, but uh, with that, it's pretty easy to do. Also, remember, you're going to need to provide imager links, which is super easy as well, but time is running out. Submissions need to be made before next Thursday at 11.59 p.m. CET. And if you're curious, that's around 5.59 or 6 p.m. Eastern Time or 2.59, 3 p.m. Pacific Time. First place prize is going to be getting an NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti Founders Editions graphics card, which the MSRP of that's about 400 bucks right now, but it does go for about $800 on the scalper market that we currently live in. With this card, you can easily play Farming Simulator 22 at 1080p, maybe even 1440 with maxed out settings. Should be good either way. There's also prizes for second and third place as well. And if you're interested in the Vineyard Contest, you can see everything via the link in the description. All right, that's a ton of information, but let's move over to modern news where we've got some more big news from Sid Monning, who's bringing his Byroder back for players to use. It's called the Twin Screw XBR2 in the game, and it's a zero turn tracked monster based on the 1994 Byroder with a massive capacity. Oh yeah, and it's also fast. If I remember right, this goes 32 miles an hour. As for the changes that he's made, he's also or he's improved the combine with new textures for Farm Sim 22, but he's keeping all the original features that made this one of the best harvesters to use in Farming Simulator 19. We got grain tank options, light configurations, track options, numbers, pipes, GPS and tablets, and of course, oversized signs. I know the only question that you guys are going to have for now is, when's it coming? Well, we don't know, of course, there's no release dates for mods, but we do know that it is happening, and of course, all platforms. Speaking of combine harvesters, yesterday Custom Modding released their Case IH Axle Flow 250 series, which uh, kicked off their Project Red Farm initiative. I love it. And it brings Case IH machines and tools to every job on your farm. But that's not the only color that they bleed because they're also part of the green team. Custom Modding loves everybody. And they posted some new screenshots of their John Deere 4940 self propelled sprayer with fertilizer box and boom arm options, just like in Farm Sim 19. By the looks of it, the mod isn't that far off from being completed, and I know players are going to be very happy to see it once it's in the game. With all the options that we see and will soon be available, 
Running a massive American farm is going to be super easy to do. I can't wait. Of course, you can't forget about their 8R mod pack for John Deere, which is already being tested on Mod Hub, or so they say anyway. They think maybe there was a translation error. Uh, giants do have a habit of testing things and not putting them on the list. Cough, cough, anything TLX. So that's exciting. More options for players to use and have fun with. But don't worry, they're not done with big red tractors yet because the Steiger is their next project. So stay tuned. Quick update today from EY Modding on his Massey Ferg at 4000 series articulating tractor he has got the retexturing finished and the mod has been sent back to giants for testing generally mods that have failed and fixed don't take as long to get back on the testing list as new mods so hopefully we'll see this one on the list very soon don't worry i'm as excited about this one as you are one tractor that we talked about yesterday has been released in the past 24 hours but not on the mod hub unfortunately this is the 2011 case ih Magnum. This has been released on Dennis Farm's website for PC players to use. You can get it as of right now. Alongside this, you can also get his Case IH Vertical Tillage 335 and his all but single bale spear for front loaders. I have not heard anything or seen anything about a Mod Hub release for this mod, but I will say if anything changes, I'll let you know. Universe Simu Modding have released another teaser for their Perar pack, this time for the low loaders. In the video, they show you how to use the trailers and some special features of them as well. The video is in a cinematic style, so unfortunately, we don't get any information. We just get to see the in action but if you'd like to see it check out the link below beside perard video some other very popular spanish trailers from calaruga modding found their way onto the testing list finally the camara rt16 however yesterday the modder actually posted the giants had failed their mod due to the quality of it being too low and not up to the level required for giants from mod on mod hub calaruga modding did say that they have appealed the decision and i guess with it being back on the list today the issue's been resolved if you've been waiting to use something a little bit different, some Spanish equipment perhaps, well, it should be here soon. And lastly today, Flosti94 has a new map that they've been working on. We get a first look at it right here. He says these are his first screenshots and show it off for the first time for Shire Farm, a map that was originally intended to be released at the end of Farming Simulator 19, but didn't have it ready in time. So he converted it for FarmSim 22. The only thing is, he's not sure if it's going to be for all platforms or not, since there are some custom things on the map that he's made. So no promises yet, but he is trying. So that's awesome to hear. It does appear to be a more basic and open map, and those do tend to be some of the more popular maps on Mod Hub. So we'll see what happens. These screenshots, I will say, are very bright and washed out with a little bit too much on the vibrance filter. I'm not a fan of that, and I know it definitely doesn't look like this in game. So it'll be nice to see when it's got some proper lighting on it. Either way, I am looking forward to this. Just like I was looking forward to recycling the segue to the outro that I've used probably eight or nine times by now, but whatever, still works. Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There are no release dates for mods, unfortunately, so no one knows when any mods gonna be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, well, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel as I'll give you guys updated information every day on everything going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new around here and join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With that, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Another supercut video this morning. Four hours old Calmston Farm. Yikes.